Hello friends, I'm going to show you how to create this memory state in the solid world. So let's get started. First create this 2D sketch, then go to feature and let's do it. Let's do 12 mm Reverse direction, confirm it. Make another sketch of this two rectangle on this face. And go feature and it's still cut. And it's still cut 12 mm and confirm it. And make another sketch on the front plane. I put this line on the center. Then go feature and it's still it. It's still 12 mm, reverse the direction and uncheck the match result and confirm it. And right click on the parts and change the color. Now make this sketch on this side of the plane on this surface let me show you the dimensions this is the dimensions of the sketch now go to feature and steer it steer it to 7 mm sorry 70 mm and check the match result and confirm it Now change the color too. And confirm it. Let's create a reference plane. Choose plane. First reference will be top plane. And this time will be 10 mm and confirm it. Now create this sketch on this plane. Let me show you the sketch. Okay, uh, this is a sketch. Uh, I use uh, freehand technique to make this sketch. I never put a dimension on it. Now let's use split line feature. Go to feature and curve and split line. Choose projection. First selection will be this sketch, and the second will be all face of this part. Let's let all faces. Now make this sketch on the top plane. I already put a dimension on it. If you want, you can use it. Now use a stucat feature. Let cut on both sides through all both and confirm it. Now make this sketch on the top plane. Let me show you it. This sketch. I put mostly geometry relations on it rather than putting dimension on this sketch. Now let's do this sketch. Choose up to surface and choose this face. And check the merge result and confirm it now apply some filler radius on this edge choose filler and choose this edge and one more time this edge change the filler radius to 0 0.02 or 0 0.2 or 0.3 and confirm it 
Now create this 2D sketch on this face. Let me show you the feature. Uh, this sketch. And go to feature and it's to bounce face. It's to this uh, feature or this sketch to 1mm. And I'll check the monitor as well and confirm it. Now let's create this 2D sketch on the data center of the memory state. Let me show you that. Okay, uh, this sketch. Now go to feature and still cut. And put uh, this 10 10 mm and confirm it. Now create this 2D sketch on the same plane. I mean, same plane as the previous sketch. Let me show you this. And go to normal. I create this sketch on this face. Now let's go to feature and it's to boss base. It's to this uh, object to the surface up to this face. Okay, uh, and check the match result and confirm it. Now create this 2D sketch on the top plane. I use freehand technique to make this sketch. Now go to feature and it's to cut. Is to cut this Y part uh, on the both direction. So let's slide through all both and select the body. Uh, I'm gonna slide this one and confirm it. Now let's move this Y part in the negative Z direction. Go to insert and feature. Now move and copy. Let's move uh, 40 millimeter uh, in the negative direction so of the Z Z and confirm it. Now use less shell feature to make hollow this uh, white part and remove this face and this face and this face too. And I'm gonna put uh, thickness to one millimeter and show preview and confirm it now create this 2d sketch on the plane one which is already created in the modeling process i use offset tool to create the sketch i use offset uh, to offset this full borderline and make the sketch now go to feature and choose play line the sketch will be this one and the face will be this top one and this bottom one and confirm it. Don't forget to choose projection and confirm. Okay, we got our split line. Now hide this to the sketch. Now let's apply some color on the face. As for the final step, I create this slot on this face. Uh, you can create two. Now go to feature and it's to cut. Now also cut this uh, part on uh, all both directions. Uh, select the body and select this one and confirm it. Now we get our memory state that we want. I hope you enjoy it.